In our protocol, we use film rehydration from small glass beads to form reaction compartments made of peptides. In the experiments, we benefit from the protocol's simplicity and robustness. The main advantage of this technique is the ability to incorporate even sensitive samples, such as the used crude cell extract. Contact with organic solvents would significantly affect the sample. To begin this procedure, use a centrifugal vacuum concentrator to concentrate the ELP solution to 1.1 millimolar. Mix 200 microliters of this concentrated solution with 1250 microliters of a 2 to 1 chloroform and methanol mixture. Vortex the solution to mix thoroughly. Next, add 1.5 grams of spherical glass beads to a 10 milliliter round bottom flask. Add the ELP and chloroform methanol solution to the round bottom flask and gently shake to mix. Connect the flask to a rotary evaporator. Adjust the speed to 150 RPM and regulate the pressure to minus 20,000 pascals for approximately 4 minutes until the liquid is evaporated at room temperature. It's important to be careful when using the rotary evaporator due to possible boiling retardation. After this, loosely wrap aluminum foil around the opening of the round bottom flask to prevent the loss of glass beads, and place the flask into a desiccator for at least one hour to ensure that the remaining chloroform and methanol are evaporated. For a single experiment, mix 100 milligrams of the peptide-covered glass beads with six